Tonight, China has laid out detailed allegations against Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig, accusing them of stealing state secrets. And China has done this just days after Canada authorized the extradition hearing of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou. Abigail Beeman explains the impact of the latest developments. Michael Kovrig, a former diplomat, and Michael Spavor, a businessman with ties to North Korea, were detained in December on vague accusations of threatening national security. Now China says the pair worked together, accusing Kovrig of spying, stealing state secrets with intelligence passed along by Spavor. Kovrig works for the International Crisis Group. They say his work has been entirely transparent and in the open. Vague and unsubstantiated accusations against him are unwarranted and unfair. I would say that there's a, a good prospect that they may have met each other or known each other. Uh, they're both working on somewhat similar fields. China's foreign policy uh, would not surprise me in the slightest if they knew each other. And, uh, but that will then be spun, perhaps, by the prosecutors as some sort of uh, evidence of guilt. Director of the China Institute Gordon Holden sees this escalation as pure retaliation by China after Canada took the next step to greenlight this Huawei executive's extradition to the U.S. Simply collateral damage uh, to the Chinese case uh, of uh, Meng Wanzhou. So I'm deeply concerned and saddened by this development. It is unfortunate that China uh, continues uh, to move forward uh, on these arbitrary detentions. We will continue to stand up for these Canadians. No charges have been laid yet, but a crime this serious could ultimately result in the death penalty. Nearly three months in a Chinese prison now for those two Canadians with reports of very difficult conditions, interrogations that last for hours, lights left on, and limited access to lawyers and consular help. Donna? Can't be easy for them. And Abigail, what about the other Canadian who's not only in custody in China, but on death's row? Is there a status update on his case? Well, Robert Schellenberg's request for an appeal was granted at the end of January, but his family tells Global News they're in a holding pattern, hoping and praying for good news as they wait for the Chinese government to set a hearing date. Donna? All right, Abigail in Ottawa, thank you.